In July of 1993, John Gotti, the Mafia boss of bosses, was assaulted in the Supermax Federal Prison I worked at. This set in motion a chain of events that can be felt nationwide today. My name is not important, but my story is. I was a government employee for over 30 years. I retired from USP Marion not long ago. The names of all the prison employees have been changed for their safety. The Mafia has a commission, and so does a violent white supremacist prison gang, the Area Brotherhood. The ABs, as they are known, has a commission that is made up of three members, John Greshner, Barry Mills, and Tyler Bingham. I know all three men, and I know how the fight on that day changed all of them. First of all, it appears that the ABs were providing a loose security for the head of the Mafia Commission, John Gotti, while he was in prison, serving a life sentence without parole. Mr. Gotti was unable or unwilling to uphold his promise of getting lawyers to help his new friends on the AB Commission. So in response, Mills, Bingham, and Greshner let the Teflon Don's security lapse. They may have even encouraged a black inmate, Walter Johnson, to attack Gotti. Johnson has an explosive anger over even small slights. Gotti, arrogant as usual, told Johnson to get out of his way while he was on a recreation period inside the cell block they were both assigned to. The next day, after stewing over the Mafia strongman's words, Johnson viciously and without warning attacked Gotti, beating him into the floor with fists, kicks, and knees. After this assault, Gotti reportedly hired the ABs to protect him and get revenge on Johnson. Interestingly, the ABs have never carried out the hit on Johnson, but members of his family have met with strange, unexplained accidents. John Gotti became a close associate of Barry Mills. Gotti learned of the criminal operations that was the Aryan Brotherhood, and like a good businessman, found ways to cut the fat, streamline the organization, and generally make it more profitable. Some of the changes were right out of the Mafia playbook of using the American banking system to invest, hide, and launder money. Mills learned that extreme violence was counterproductive to profit. The AB has started to get their soldiers more loyal to the leadership. The Mafia used ceremony, titles, and fellowship to ensure the loyalty of their members. As a direct result of Gotti's influence, the ABs lost the hardcore racism and used a defunct religion of the Norse to initiate its members. The violent gang now had members that thought their membership not just as gang members, but as an adherent to a religion. Mills, Bingham, and Greshner were so successful with the religion angle that they got their church recognized by the federal prison system, who now provides priests to help them celebrate their God's existence. Today, the ABs are more profitable. This has been a factor in recruiting new members. Prisoners see a group who are richer, more secure, and have a sense of belonging to something greater than themselves. The ABs have so many applicants that they're turning them away. All of this has been the result of the association of Mills with Gotti over 20 years ago. Some American prisons and sections of others are now controlled by the improved power and wealth of the ABs. Today the ABs can even reach outside prison walls to obtain weapons, drugs, and other contraband. They can even kill you in your home right now, given proper motivation. And when these mafia-like trained soldiers get out of prison, they take this new school of organization with them. Many small street gangs throughout the nation are now organizing themselves into more efficient criminal organizations based on the trickle-down teachings of Gotti. Most of these criminals have benefited from this fight all those years ago, have no idea how John Gotti has affected them. This story and others have never seen the light of day until now. Subscribe to hear more. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Always remember that I tell you this at personal risk. Just like the Mafia, we have our own code. Talking is forbidden for both groups. They have the witness protection program. I have nothing. When I choose to break my silence, I choose to walk alone. Forever.